hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i achieved this beautiful cut crease with a twist so if you think you'd want to see how i achieved this stay back relax and watch this video to the end also don't forget to subscribe like this video share and drop a comment so actually this is my sister i would i did a makeup on her and um she is also a fashion designer i would try to put up her link to her youtube channel up here somewhere so you can go see what she does and all of that if you might be interested you can also subscribe to her channel too so i started out using the rimmel stay matte mattifier to apply on her brows just to to reduce the anti-shine and the oil production that would have on her brows eventually so that's why i use that i also have a an eyebrow tutorial video that i'm going to be linking up somewhere also so you could watch and then get a hold of how i achieve my brows looking all slick and pink and you all know all of that <sighs> They said next thing i did i grabbed my p louise eyeshadow base in the number rumor three i think and i applied i blended it in and then i went in with a pink eyeshadow shade from the Ogene palette and i was applying on her crease so you want to just tap 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 and then blend in your eyeshadow into the skin up now i'm just cutting her crease this is a place where you actually want to be very precise you want to be very very careful so as to get that sharp cut crease so after doing that after achieving my cut crease i just blend 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 you would also want to like be a bit faster because this actually dries out kind of fast so you want to do that next i, I went in with a lighter shade of pink So I just applied a lighter shade of pink and then I'm using that same color I used in the outer corner of her eyes and I'm blending it in. So what I did here was I actually couldn't find my white eyeliner so I had to improvise you know. I'm all for the improvisation of using makeup products so I used my Ben Nye Clown White eyeshadow base to achieve that white line I have above her crease and what I'm doing now is applying my pigments in the inner corner of her eyes and the pigments pigments I'm using is from Luster Cosmetics and I think in icy pink yeah so I'm just going in with my Mabrook eyeliner eyeliner I'm using is the Mabrook eyeliner in shade black this eyeliner is very very it dries matte and it's very good and also it has a very precise brush using the Zaron mascara now to apply on her lashes before going in with my falsies So I grabbed my Ewaronke Perfect Face Primer for her face and I'm just blending it in. The next thing I'll be doing is to apply the Rimmel Stay Matte, from Stay Matte Mattifier. You all know what this does. It reduces the oil production that you would normally produce on your face. And then also at the same time helps you stay matte all day. It's really good for those people that have really oily skin. Because her skin is almost, if you use a fried egg. So I went in with the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in what shade now? I would definitely put everything down in the description box going in with my concealer now to highlight and i'm highlighting the under of her eyes her the bridge of her nose her forehead and her cupid's bow and her chin 
so just blending it in and the beauty blender i'm using is from is from nuban beauty So before I go in with my setting powder, I will just use a compact powder and then set the all the places I highlighted first. Just so that it doesn't give me any patches. I like to do this most of the time. Guys, I apologize that I was always almost in front of the camera. I'm sorry. I will do better next time. Thank you. So I'm contouring with a darker shade of powder and the powder palette I'm using is from the Lady V is the V Beauty powder palette. So the setting powder I'm using now is the S Pawn loose powder in translucent. So I'm just going to apply it in all the places that I highlighted with the concealer. And then I'm going to leave it for a bit to bake. And then I will move on to her lips. For her lips, I used the classic USA makeup brow pencil to line her lips. And then I went in with the Milani nude lip with a Milani nude lipstick in I don't know the shade now. And next thing I did, I grabbed my classic USA clear gloss to finish up her lips. So I'll just be dusting off excess, um, all the excess setting powder she has on her face. And I'm using her shade of powder in the powder palette to do this. So I'm just finishing up her look with, by applying powder on her face and adding some glue to her face to... And with this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope someone enjoyed it out there. I hope this came out really nice. Drop your comments, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.